huge molecular cloud discovered at a distance of 300 years light from the Earth. 300 light years from Earth astronomers have detected a huge man it's a molecular cloud. This cloud of hydrogen hit right under the nose of astronomers by for decades and was discovered while searching for its main ingredient the molecular hydrogen. The researchers called this structure EOS. A group of astronomers came across a molecular cloud Blakesley Burkhardt from Rutgers University New Brunswick. The structure it was discovered by the use of innovative observational technique. Scientists say it is one of the largest structures observed in the sky and one of the closest Earth. Results and description of the research appeared in the journal Nature Astronomy. Molecular clouds are huge structures, local densities of gases and dusts, the main component of which is hydrogen basic building of stars and planets. These structures also contain other molecules, as per an example of carbon monoxide. They are often detected using conventional methods, such as observations in the field of radio or infrared waves, which are easy they capture the chemical signature of carbon monoxide. If such a cloud thickens and reaches sufficient mass, it can collapse under the influence of gravity and start creating stars. That's why EOS it offers an unprecedented opportunity to explore how suns are born. Scientists have called the cloud EOS, in honor of the goddess of Greek mythology, which is the epitome of dawn, tomorrow. Astronomers have detected a cloud using light emitted in range of the far ultraviolet, which opens up new possibilities for exploration the universe using this technique. The structure remained hidden, until scientists specifically started looking for its main ingredient, hydrogen it's a molecule. This is the first molecular cloud in history discovered by direct search for emissions of distant molecular hydrogen ultraviolet. Data showed glowing hydrogen molecules detected by fluorescence in the distant ultraviolet. This cloud literally shines in the dark, she said Blakesley Burkhardt, lead author of the publication. EOS is 300 light years away, which is relatively close to space standards, but scientists emphasize that it is not it poses no threat to the Earth and the solar system. Because of its the proximity gives a unique opportunity to study the properties of this type of structure in its an interstellar center. Interstellar medium consisting of gas and dust which fills the space between the stars in the galaxy, it serves as a raw material to creating new stars. When we look through our telescopes, we see the whole planetary systems during formation, but we don't know exactly how it is the story. The discovery of EOS is exciting because now we can explore how molecular clouds are forming and falling apart and how the galaxy begins convert gas and interstellar dust into stars and planets, Burkhart. EOS is located on the edge of the local bank the huge area with a low density of diffuse matter in interstellar space. The area also includes the solar system. Scientists say EOS has up to 80 light years in diameter and has a mass of 2,000 to 8,500 solar masses, depending on methods used to estimate it. Although in the cloud, they can be initiated star formations, researchers indicate that this is unlikely that due to the low density of the structure. According to them, EOS will disappear for about 6 millions of years and its components will disperse through space. The molecular cloud was just below the nose of astronomers. Why wasn't it detected earlier? Because the light emitted by the structure is detectable only in difficult to capture and rarely studied part the phantom. It is difficult to detect molecular hydrogen if there are no stars nearby, that could heat it up. According to Burkhardt, the cloud is dominated by hydrogen molecular but does not contain much material and does not emit a distinctive signature that can be detected during the conventional observations. The Big Bang left a lot of hydrogen. Right where the clouds were densest, 
gravity slowly increased their density, leading to the formation of stars. Those when they made life, in their explosive death they spread other elements around the cosmos, powering them more distributed interstellar clouds. The history of the cosmos is the story of the regrouping of atoms on a lot of billions of years. The hydrogen that is now in the EOS cloud, it existed during the Big Bang and eventually hit our galaxy and he's connected. So it was a long journey lasting 13.6 billion years for those hydrogen atoms, Burkhardt said.
Pedro Sol, Pedro Sol.